you have to understand what the damage with this technology will be for the people who are the people of finance. When you can live in the best places in the world, yeah, and you can be at your work desk in Washington, in New York, London, or Tokyo within a matter of 10, 15 minutes, would you spend millions running an office in the middle of Tokyo, having an apartment there with all the problems with it? No. So the property industry will hit harder. The other thing which I just gave a talk very recently in one of my private talks is that the biggest problem we'll have is the drain of the intelligent and the scientific world once we open up the channels into space. When America opened up, when everybody went to America, huh? and at the moment, where do all the brain drain goes? To America. Because that's where they can be developed and they can be. When we open the space, we won't have a farmer in the back of God knows a village in Rotterdam who wants to go to live in Mars or Moon and find out what the space does, huh? It'll be all the cream of the society in every layer and in every country. So the brain drain will be the worst part. Because these systems can be made by anybody very soon in the back of their garage. That's the simplicity of it. I really think that the far-reaching vision and reality that you're talking about that's already here, it's just a question now of how fast it moves and how quickly other people get on board. But the big boon in which the technology that you're describing in terms of protecting the nuclear sites, see, I think on a practical level right now, people are hurting about the nuclear reactors and the release of radiation. But in the United States, we have hundreds of nuclear reactors that could be protected. And truly, the nuclear industry hasn't figured out how to protect them. You could. But no, no. You, the word you is wrong. We can. Right. As, as American uh, nuclear industry, Westinghouse, as the major uh, nuclear reactor producers, even in France and everybody else, as a group, we can provide technology that, in the case of accident, can contain the radiation. That's the huge. It's very simple. There is a, but it cannot be us anymore. The game is open. The Iranian government has the technology. They offered it to Japan directly in the past two weeks. The president of Iran does not talk out of line. They have the technology, and they can do to support to bring the matter in control in, in Japan. Why I say that? I don't support no government. I don't stand next to the president of nowhere. But because they have my technology, and they know what it is. We developed it. It's been it's lifted in Tehran in summer of 2008. So it's three years now they're working on it. They didn't announce it the day we took lift when he was giving an opening talk in the United Nations. Iranian scientists have developed the technology to its margins. At the moment, we don't, they understand. And even with their development, as a foundation, as somebody who's worked 30 years on it, I'm something like 10, 15 years ahead of them at the moment. I see what they can do and what they talk about. A system, 7, 10 kilo, developed it very rapidly. is plastic. Put it in the center of the nuclear reactors. In case there is a radiation in the future, we can contain it. Don't forget... And this is something I published very recently on my forum. Earthquake in California is imminent. We know. Yes, but I give it 12 months. I said that on my forum, the Japanese and the New Zealand earthquake imminent with 36 months. 18 months of it passed and we received it. Now the plate is free. How many reactors do you have? We have two in California. Uh, you have plenty more. You just go on the internet and look at it. I was looking at it the other day. Yeah? Two big reactors that I know of. Yeah, and there are about more, a little bit around. There are more than that. But the thing is, it's just not the nuclear industry. A lot of knowledge in the space technology sits in California. Correct. In the earthquake, you lose your top scientists. You don't suffer. We as a humanity suffer. The game of nationhood is finished. The game of world policy has to come into operation. So what's going to happen? Why don't you move your scientists out of California into safe areas? I agree with you. To reestablish the brain, which is going to be lost through the earthquake, is huge. Where do you consider safe? Seriously. Seriously, at the moment, I wrote recently, move to Dallas, Texas, that way, for the time being. 
to the earthquake. We don't know. I estimate you have a huge earthquake in California with it, and I have put recently, past few days, on my site. I expect a huge earthquake in Tehran because it's due because of the plate of Japan is pushing that plate up. This is not theoretical because you know why? I have a system. I can replicate a lot of movements in my physical systems. This is the problem. This is why we are not visionary. We are not somebody who predicts. I have systems which is made replication of the Earth planet. So like a simulator? Yes. A real simulator which has got a gravity and a magnetic field. Wow. And it only weighs 10 kilo. I don't have to go and weigh millions and open computers and everything else. I have six or seven reactors which I can put next to each other and see the performance. How do we get your systems to the nuclear industry in the United States and possibly in France? There, it's, it's a gift from me, from my foundation, and from even the, because I carry the Iranian passport. I'm a city Iranian national after 35 years living in Europe. It's a gift from us to you. Come and take it. Let's sit down and teach it. And, I, and in past 48 hours, in past 48 hours, I have put the name of the company in Europe, which was instructed by the Belgium government five years ago to evaluate and make a copy of my system. I spent four months with them face to face. They went through every possible disaster, every possible way of loading and everything with me. And they've signed every single meeting what they received as a know-how. Yeah, go on my side. The name is there. Call them. Now the company has been bought by the Ministry of Defense of England because they were chasing, tracing, and this is the only company bought by them outside England. It was very shocking why they bought this such a company because the Ministry of Defense knew I moved from England to Belgium and I was working with them. They bought it that to get the know-how. We are now playing games. My technology has been assessed by University of Brussels, Professor Van Overmeer, for seven months by all the nuclear physicists. And then they said, yeah, it's possible to use theoretically energy. And then I worked with a company called Verhart, the space technology. They make all the space machines for the space. And they said, I have the contract. Yes, this is feasible. This is correct. We want to make the first prototype. So we are not some talking, but they got involved in all the corruption, which goes with these technologies. So I waited three years till the Iranian government said, we would like to look at it. We are prepared to develop it. I went there and it developed. What about Russia? We are negotiating. That's all I can tell you. We are negotiating at a very high level. This is the first time we release such information. I'm negotiating at a very high level with the Russian government. Because I would think the Russians would be very, very receptive. They are more than interested. That's the bottom line finished. I'm not going any further. I understand. Totally understood. The reason being, just because the Americans don't want to do it, nobody else doesn't matter. Because one of the reasons we showed it, and we will show it, is to our medical. The turning point has come that we were given a dead body. They were going to switch the machine off. They said the body is dead because of in a coma. I took the body within seven days. The girl says, Mama, Papa, she cries when she sees them. They didn't believe me. They said it's a crooked job. They brought scientists from Israel, from Cambridge University. They did all the tests on the brain of the girl, and they said, yes, it's correct. She's conscious. She does, she does. We don't need to switch the machine off to kill the girl. Yeah? What did you do? So we leave our science in open. You go on my health section, MS patient. Uh, I, I recently met one of the top professors in MS in Germany, and he said to me was something very nice. He said, to move a little finger after five years is a lot of knowledge. You're making the girl to walk and talk and stand up after five years in wheelchair in less than three months. People who understand what our technology is and what we offer, they're fully aware of the changes coming. Talk about the technology in terms of the medical side, because it's a little obtuse right now, but talk about what you can talk about. Are you using uh, nanotechnology? No, we open about our technology in medicine. What has happened, we, I treat the body, I've said that in all my other talks, I treat the body as a galaxy, as a system. In this galaxy, I know which each, each star and planet has to be and what their performance is and what the reason they are there and what they are doing in that position. So I treat it the same way. Your atoms, your molecules, your DNA, they are all made of magnetic fields and their position in respect to each other decides what is going to happen and what's going to be. We've developed a technology which we interfere with it or we instruct it to go back to its original position. We don't do anything strange. One of our own members of Cash Foundation very recently had a stroke. 
This is 